I'm here today basically because a friend um, talked to me into it. I'm not really sure what to expect, but uh, hopefully something new and exciting. I've never seen a show of this type or um, a person who's able to entertain us in this way. So it's that curiosity is the reason why I'm here. I'm sure I shall enjoy it today. I'm not quite sure what's going to happen, but I've got an open mind, so who knows? <laughs> up on the show sparring with spirits and also please this yeah <laughs> because you know he wants a boom boom to me yeah. you know <laughs> and Derek's psychic sing-along <laughs> we've been waiting <laughs> we've been waiting, waiting. waiting. So, okay. yes. ladies and gentlemen please welcome mr. Derek Akora <laughs> thank you so much bless you welcome ladies and gentlemen my name is Derek, Derek Akora, and I'm a spirit medium. And with me today is my good friend and helper and guide, Sam. And, ladies and gentlemen, we're, we're joining together to try and link the two worlds, asking spirit loved ones, loved ones who are connected to your good selves, even friends, that could be, that have moved over, who want to come back into this atmosphere to say the hellos. But Sam and I don't like the dark. Please, will you put the house lights up? Oh, oh, OK. Bless you. Oh, right. OK, I've got... I'm starting with a, a gentleman, first off, and um, with this man... Who? Reg? And he's also mentioned Frank? Thank you. OK, what is that uniform? OK. In his younger years, and I can see the uniform, in his younger years, please, I don't know what he was in the Air Force. I don't feel he was a pilot because of his attire, but he's keen to show me that, and he's transported back into the older age in which he passed. He may not even be family. He may be just known to you. OK. Could... Yes, please, could you... A microphone, bless. What? Well, sir. Um, good afternoon. My, good my father, his name was Hugh, and he was in the Air Force. Okay. And he didn't fly, he was a civil engineer. Yes, the engineer. And he, wor he worked in Malta during the war. Sir, so, did he have a, a problem here? He had a terrible problem with his breathing, yes. um, to do with nose and throat. It is him, it is him. This, can I be, be with me, please? Yes. I'm watching his reaction. Yes. Now, please, I, I don't know if you know, but maybe this is what he's referring to. It's my fault in interpretation, if it's so. But he has mentioned, first up, Reg and Frank. Would you know if those two names, were they ever linked with your father? I don't personally know, but they could well have been on his staff. Yes. Because he had a very large team of people. Well, I do know that Reg and Frank, as he's given those names, yes. would be spirit side anyway. Yes. Not here yes. physically. Uh, but his reactions to your voice is his recognition. <laughs> Um, I feel with... Just bear with me, will you, please? Yes. Um, also, with this lovely man, please, did he smoke and then stop smake, smoking? Yes, he did. Because he's just yes. shown me that, OK? Yes. Right, he is your dad. Yes. Um, he's just said, a long time, son, isn't it? <laughs> it is. <laughs> That's his word to you. Uh, yes. A long time, son, isn't it? Exactly. He indicates to me that there's a conscious link with America. Yes, indeed. And yes. he said he's just come back from America after visiting over there. Yes. And he's really surprised, son. Yes. Go on. What? You have not heard yes, have you? No. You will. Yes. <laughs> There's some very good news coming across the Atlantic, OK? Yes. Will you watch for that? I will. It's going to land up very soon. Yes. My brother lives in America. Oh, yes. Very good news. He's very well pleased, OK? <laughs> so his dad, will you tell your brother that, please? I will indeed. Your father's saying, well done, son. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, I will. Oh. Uh, we're not prying into his personal things. It's his dad, isn't it? <laughs> um, can I say to you, please, uh, <clears throat> he's making me aware, please, of um, going into solicitor's lawyer's office? Yes, yes. There's been a lot of that recently. OK. He's had a look. 
He's come in visitation. Yeah, he has. <laughs> he's come in visitation and he's had to look at all the paperwork. Yes. He's been listening to the conversations of the solicitor. Yes. And he said, please, please, don't worry about it. All yes. will go well yes. in your direction. Yes. OK? Needs to. It will. <laughs> There's an official letter coming to you very shortly. Stamped, yes. OK? OK. You then said, open it, son, open it, it's good. <laughs> I've been waiting for it. You've been waiting. <laughs> We've waiting, been waiting, so waiting, waiting. OK. Yes. Well, I, I think the information, the connection that Derek made with my father was really, truly astonishing. And, and my father's clearly helping with my life at the moment and there were quite a number of major developments which no one else could possibly have known about. He's making me aware, please, of um, going into solicitor's lawyer's office. Can you imagine what that's like, someone you haven't seen for 25 years, and you know they're standing right there, right in front of you, although you perhaps you can't physically see them. Oh, oh, OK. Bless you. Oh, right. OK, I've got a very uh, barely, as I would call it, barely strong-looking chap, a spirit man that stepped into the atmosphere. And with him, please, um, I feel... I'm not saying the feelings that come from it. Suggest to me, please, a, a very strong man. And yet, I feel as if I've got this ability that he's thrown out to me, which doesn't... It's not with me, it's just given to me, is if, you know, I want to go down in a stance, is if I'm used to, you know, this like, it's like if I ever want a box. Now, whether this man was a professional boxer, I don't feel, may have been a good amateur boxer, but I also feel, please, he would have had some kind of military record, because I feel also what's emitted from his energies is maybe a military background. Um, he's just, yes, thank you. Now, as he's shown himself strong there, then suddenly he shows himself as he was prior to coming over to the higher side of life. That means the weight, bless him, for the big man he is and was, the weight just dropped off him. Is there someone here, please, that understands who I'm describing in this area? Is it here? Yes, just, if you take the microphone, bless you. Thank you. Keep his energy strong, Sam. He's in and out. Hello. Hi. It's nice to speak to you. Hi. Right, as I've described this uh, lovely man, please, is that a memory to you of someone that's passed over? Um, yeah, yeah. Right. Um, Would I be correct of the military background? Yep, yep. And also, please, this? Yep. <laughs> because, you know, he wants to boom, boom to me, yeah. you know? But not hit me. <laughs> and yet, I feel with this man, please, a bit of a gentle giant. Yeah. He wasn't, uh, what can I put? I don't feel he was a, how would you classify this? Um, a big head or because he knew he could do this he wouldn't use that in anger I feel that would be you know like street fighting I don't feel that but I feel as if with him he'd box and that was his love okay mm -hmm. uh, he's also please uh, displaying that in his day um, I feel this man please was a, a bit of a joker okay oh, yeah. yeah he'd yeah. pull your leg totally Definitely. because he said yes. to make this look at your suit <laughs> to me <laughs> <laughs> I don't know yeah. if he means it's rubbish or what, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, um, can I just say, yeah, um, can I also say to you in a, a more um, serious uh, kind of tone that um, he's aware um, of hearing a conversation, but he's listened to a conversation and said, oh, he wishes um, that to be instigated because he'll come along and he'll do something for proof. Who has he been listening to, please, just recently? Uh, of two people who's been talking about they're going to arrange to go to a haunted pub or something location and stay over and experience something of hauntings. Who's he been listening to? I'm not sure. We've... We've been talking a little bit about doing things like that, yeah. but not, not a specific location, but just thinking about doing something Generally, like okay. that, yeah. Well, he's encouraging it. OK. <laughs> you see, you are assured, you two, <laughs> because if nothing does happen, he's going to perform. OK. <laughs> Take the, like yeah, you see, orbs like him. and everything, yeah. OK? He'll be running <laughs> everywhere <laughs> in front of you, OK? OK. All right? Yeah. So I hope you don't mind me telling you that, because he wanted me to no, tell you that. Fine. All right. I kind of realised that it was a message for us when he started talking about the military background and the fact that he was quite a large man um, and also the boxing. I feel with this man, please, a bit of a gentle giant. I feel as if with him he'd box and that was his love, OK? It's about our nonno, who's our Italian grandfather, and um, he was a prisoner of war 
and uh, when he was a prisoner of war he did a lot of boxing um, and that was kind of his his hobby I suppose and he did used to do really well so it's, that was kind of when we realized coming up a lovable rogue and a long arm of the law did the lovely man please not like the police force <laughs> Thank you. Bless you. Thanks. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, as you've just witnessed, um, the connecting with the world of spirit, for those loved ones that come into our atmosphere, it means equally as much to them as I'm sure it is for yourselves. There are other ways of gleaning information. One that's been perfected, that's here with us, uh, is called practicing psychometry. To psychometrize an article that belongs to one, to yourself, or maybe passed to you from family members of the past, um, those vibrations are embedded um, quite deeply within articles that, that that person or persons have owned, touched, or has been on their person. Um, I also know a lot of you have brought some of these articles in here today. So I don't think we should hold on any longer. Uh, should, should we have a look at these articles? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Okay, then. <laughs> what a mixture of these articles. Ladies and gentlemen, out of the articles here, please, some are solid and what have you. And yet, first off, I'm, you know, I'm drawn to um, this cap. And with this cap, please, I want to say um, an awareness. Please, who does this article belong to? OK, could we have the microphone, please? Thank you. Bless you. It's nice to speak to you. And you. Please, can I say to you, please, the first emanations linked um, with this cap, I would say to you, please, this, please, would have been placed on a male's head. That's right. And this male, please, would have been full of fun. Definitely. And a person, please, who would be very jokey. Yeah. And a person of real character, OK? Yes. And with him, please, um, if ever you fell down, I feel his energies around the person would uplift them. Yes, most definitely. Um, can I say to you, please, also, uh, did this lovely soul come over to the world of spirit quite rapidly? After ailment? Yes. Quite quickly, once, not so much diagnosis, but would, would have gone, OK, um, dipped very quickly. Yes. Because I feel um, his energy going over um, quite quickly. He's made what? That's not coming from the energies, that's my guide. I believe, please, this love that is connected to you, OK, um, has, on a number of occasions since his passing, has whipped, come back into the atmosphere and, at times, has done his very best, thank you, to make a link with you, OK? Yes. Oh, 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 oh thank you, bless you, Sam. Um, Tony, who's Tony? It's my uncle. Yes, he's in spirit? No. He's here? Yeah. Would the person, please, who's linked with this lovely hat have a knowledge of Tony? Yes. A special memorial? Is that from here? OK. Please, may I, I don't want to make it sound like a question, but was there a special, unusual memorial for this man? Yes. Because I feel, in his energy, since coming over, would be knowledgeable of what was organised for him and was well pleased, well chuffed, OK? I can imagine so, yes. Oh, yes, because it's right up his street, do you understand? Yes. OK? Oh, 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 oh. Now, don't be alarmed over this, but please, would, um... Oh, how do I put this? Did the lovely man, please, not like the police force? <laughs> yes. 
Exactly. Because omitted, and that's what's coming from here, yeah. is like, um, it's okay by me, yeah. like foul language at the police. <laughs> He was, he was a little bit of a rogue, but a lovely rogue. Yes, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. He, well, he is. Yeah. He's a good soul. Just quickly, can I say to you, please, um, he's... Um, he was shocked. I know this lovely soul was shocked to a degree when he opened his eyes in the world of spirit. Right. Because one of his sayings was, Come on! You'd only live once, so enjoy it! Yeah. OK? Yeah. So it was a pleasant shock. OK? Yep. A good man, though. He was a very good My man. My gosh, I'd enjoy his company. Definitely. I feel anyone that comes into his company with this man, OK, yes. really enjoyed him, OK? Yes. The one direct asked us, me about the memorial. My dad was actually a director of um, Thamesmead Town. Is there a special, unusual memorial for this man? Yes. After his death, uh, they all got together, and because he was such a love, lovely person and a well-liked person, they actually put a bench in the town centre for him with a plaque on it. I had some doubts about certain psychics, but as you can see, Derek is so good, you can't not become a believer. Oh, yeah. Bless, OK, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, as I've just been drawn very, very, very strongly to this uh, item, um, which appears to be a, a book of prayer, Bible, whatever. Um, I would like to start with this and the energies of this piece. Before I link in here, please, just quickly, who does this lovely, lovely article belong to? Who's brought it in? Thank you. May I say this to you, please? There's a gentleman that I feel like you think about, OK, that's now resident in the world of spirits, that you, I know you're very close to, who you know, please, that would, would rest on every word in this book. Would that be correct? Yeah. And also, please, can I say with him, please, um, it, it seems as if um, he... Uh, he had a strict discipline about him, this man. A strict discipline. I feel when I mean when I say that, I'm not meaning a strict discipline with kiddies or anything, but a discipline in his thought. Would that be correct? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, can I say to you, please, this lovely gentleman, please, did he go very gaunt looking? Yeah. The weight. Yeah. Because it's coming out here, okay? Yeah. And can I say to you, please, a non complaining man, this, okay? A non complaining But please, if you rubbed him up the wrong way, all you'd hear is wrath. <laughs> yeah. OK? Mm -hmm. um, but he, he wanted balance. He liked balance. But if he, he went off, it'd go off on a tangent, OK? Yeah. Um, I'm also, I feel, please, um, feeling as if there's um, a lady, please, who's now resident in the world of spirit, who has joined him or is with him, OK? Yeah. And it's in, they're going rounds as a duo, OK? Um, and it's like, what I want to say, it's spiritually um, renewing our vows, I'll say, OK? Yeah. But they've not renewed vows. There's no need for that. It's like renewing our vows because we're now back together again. Yeah. And yeah. I know that these two lovelies come in visitation around the family home. And why was this put in there? OK, oh, I've got to say that. Um, this lovely book, please, was it placed in a drawer or covered up? It was. Because I know when the visitation, when these two lovelies come in, the lovely man and woman who are really virtually joined at the hip, if you like, yeah. um, like Darby and Joan they are. Um, can I just say to you, that's lovely, I think. Um, it's like you said, get that out of that drawer. Come on, take it out. Yeah. So I feel you were influenced to take it out, OK? All right? Especially by Dad, OK? Yeah. If you were to place this beautiful Bible out in the open, in your lounge and what have you, in visitation from both the lovelies, your mother and father, you could go into the kitchen area, make a cup of tea, go out, come back, and I feel what they want to do, to give you proof, OK, is to, um, <coughs> if I may, open it. Yeah. Open it like this. And it's something to do with this, you see. There it is. Oh. 
Okay, bless. I will, I will, I will, I will. Can I say to you, please, this lovely soul here, she's now resident on that side? Yeah. Okay, and this one here, please, is here, physical. Yeah. Can I say to you, please, add energies of love for you both, okay? I'm strong with you, okay? Very much so. Okay. She lives on. She's fit and well. I promise you. Okay. Whilst you have this beautiful item, they will always be drawn, not just because of this, because they love you, because you're, they're girls. But this also helps, okay? All right. Thank you. Hope that's helped you. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, it was very good. And I'm just waiting to go home and put the Bible on the side for it to open up on its own, because that's what he said would happen. Coming up, cat in shaggy dog story. A cat with uh, so much um, f hair, fair. And a paranormal pooch's unwanted return. You used to like shouting at the dogs, didn't you? Yeah, I ate them. <laughs> <laughs> so much. Bless you. OK. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to move on, if I may, with your approval, to say these couple of words. I'm sure there's an awful lot of you here in the audience today that have pets, animals at home, who you adore, who you love. Your domesticated animals also have spirit within. I never know who's going to step forward, who's going to be encouraged to come into the atmosphere, Oh, wow, well, wow, well, thank you, bless you. Right, I'm joined fit, very gladly um, by he's quite a big guy, this, a big lad. He's a Tom Cat, he's a big grey Tom Cat. But can I say when I say Tom, I'm talking about um, a, a cat with uh, so much um, f hair, fair. It's, all, it, it's long. It, it's, um, I'm trying to uh, get the breed of this cat. Um, Piercing bluey grey eyes. I feel I'm up here somewhere. Could I speak to this gentleman here, please? Bless you. Hello. Hello. Nice to speak to you. Don't Cheers. be afraid to speak to me, will you? <laughs> okay. You've got a memory of a cat I, like I've described, please, that could be passed over? Yeah. And was this cat, please, because this is the mannerisms and stuff that I get through personality. Was this cat, please, um, a bit of a fighter? Yeah. Because I feel scrapper with him, okay? Yeah. He, he'd line himself up against any cat, okay? Mm. And I feel in his day, uh, I don't condone fighting, but I feel this cat had a bit of an ego, okay? Yeah. And not only would he, f oh gosh, not only would he fight other cats, if you got in the wrong side of him, he'd go Phew, at anyone. <laughs> Yeah. Got you a couple of times, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> OK. Well, he hasn't changed one iota. <laughs> OK, not at all. Sir, may I say this to you? Haven't you been thinking about bringing a kitten into your home just recently? Yeah. <laughs> well, he's prompting you to. He's prompt, but there's oh. two gonna come in. <laughs> Will you watch? It's like brother and sister. Inseparable. Will you watch for this? Yeah. It just shook me up a bit, really. It's just... It's not the sort of thing I thought would come through. I was expecting my dad or someone to come through, not my cat. Right. I've got this guy. It's a dog. And I, I know it's a male. Um, and can I say to you, please, um, he's only smaller stature, but my gosh... Is he strong looking? He's brown and he's black. He's a very short tail. I, I, is what name? Okay, thank you. Uh, this uh, definitely okay. It's a, it's a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Shows me a basket that he loved. He had two. He had a woven basket, what he lay in, and also a material one. Is, who is it, please, that 
remembers this or linked with the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Sam said Brindle. Brindle. That's the brown and black. There's someone here, please, that understands this. The dog wouldn't be brought here unless there was someone here to receive him. Hello. It's nice to speak to you. And you. Bless you. As I've described this lovely dog, please, uh, would you recognise yeah, what I've just described? Yeah. And, please, I want to say, with this dog, whoever was, you know, brought it into the home, it, it, like, nothing better but to trail behind and, and walk with yeah. the person. Yeah, everywhere, yeah. Yes. Because he's bringing that memory back, he misses that, OK? But also, it's, it's not unusual, but it's so intriguing to me because he was, he, he was able to manage to show me two sleeping areas, um, which he, he, I'm not sure whether he alternated one, one night there, I'll go in the other basket now. He had two sleeping areas, did he not? Yeah, he could sleep. He slept, in, yeah, in a couple Sorry? of places. Yeah, he did sleep in a couple of places, yeah. Yeah, OK. Now, can I say to you, please, this dog, oh, bless... Do I say that, Sam? This dog had selective hearing, so Sam tells me. Mm. Isn't that weird? <laughs> Isn't that bizarre? <laughs> and I'm just asking him what he means by selective hearing, because when the dog used to get shouted at, when he could be naughty, he'd sit in one of those bags and turn his back as if he couldn't hear you. <laughs> that was a mannerism, wasn't it? Mm. You don't seem certain about that. Yeah, it was my... He was my dad's best friend, so... OK. Yeah, he was with my dad, like, a lot. You used to like shouting at the dogs, didn't you? Yeah, I hated them. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's <laughs> All right, so please, just take the love and the memory here, will you? OK, yeah. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, the lovely lady, bless. It's funny that um, Derek said about me shouting at the dog, because obviously I'm not an animal lover, I hate animals. And of all the things to come through, it had to be a dog. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to move on. Move on to a, a very, very special um, way of hopefully um, helping uh, the animal kingdom not just come from um, the higher side of life but are uh, domesticated animals cats dogs that possibly are still with us living in our homes but maybe not in total adjustment maybe they got a gripe maybe they've got something to say but maybe mum or dad don't understand so ladies and gentlemen i would like to invite up here onto the couch here a lovely lady called jenny and a lovely dog called tilly would you like to please come up jenny Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Kenny. Yeah. Okay. yourself, Kenny. Hello, Tilly. Hello, Tilly. Hello, Tilly. Hello, Tills. Hello, Tilly. Yes, yes, you're beautiful. Okay. Yes, you're beautiful. Jenny, it's really, really nice for you to come here with uh, lovely Tilly. Um, just briefly, not too much. Can you tell me, please, what it, you've, you've actually brought Tilly here along for? OK. Um, yeah. She's two. She's been with us for virtually uh, all her life. Yes. Um, she recently had a very serious eye injury to yes. her right eye. Yes. And we were very curious to know really how that happened. We weren't aware of any cause, obvious cause, but yes. it was very serious and it looked at one point as though she might lose her eye. Yes. Fortunately, it actually has recovered very well. Hi, darling. Um, but we're very curious. Um, also, she's a very mild jo dog, very yes. mild-mannered, but she can get very scared of, of other dogs. And I just wondered if yes. there's what might be behind that. OK. So. <laughs> now, just uh, listening also to my guide, Sam, here, I would like to take you back, if I may, um, to a, an occasion um, and um, I feel as if, um, Tilly's also trying to give me this, I feel, um, on occasion of exercise. Mm -hmm. And it seems everything was fine, everything seemed to be fine. And I feel, please, it's yourself with Tilly. Yes. And you're walking along, please. And it's like as if I feel that there was something, please, not jagged, but something that was out in the foliage, something that was out in, the, you know, I'd, I'd call it the outdoors, mm -hmm. which didn't happen indoors. And please, as if she walked through oh. and clipped, but embedded and went in. Right. And caused, sorry, it caused an infection, yep. but 
again, it's as if this thing that went in was from nature. Also, when because her eye, uh, do you mind me saying, her eye um, or the outer socket started swelling, didn't it? Yes, absolutely. And it was in there, but when the eye, uh, the eye's defences and the antibodies pushed this foreign body out, right. but still left the infection. Because I just know, with respect, that the um, surgeon has said a, a, a deep infection. Mm, absolutely right. Also, um, there was also talk about um, the uh, nasal passage. Um, not tilt. to my knowledge, okay. although she obviously was very unwell yes. at that time, so she's yes. very sniffly and... Yes. Now, can I... I know it was a foreign body. Mm. And I know it's from Mother Nature. And unfortunately, um, you know, little Tilly is walking along very happy with mm. you uh, and caught this in there. And I don't even feel that as it penetrated, it went in, it was so sharp mm. that she didn't actually, it was like, ouch, and then mm. forgotten about mm. on her part. Mm. But it was later, right. as this foreign body was causing this the antibodies, no, we don't want you in here, mm. and caused all this. Absolutely. And I feel all this happened, if I may say, all this happened within a matter of, oh gosh, less than a fortnight. Absolutely right, it happened very fast, which yeah. is why we were so surprised by it. Yeah. Um, I also feel, if I may say please as well, this nervousness. Mm. This is born out of the mother of Tilly. Ah. Oh, yes. Uh, wherever the litter, where she come from the litter, yeah. the mother love, I don't know if you know anything about the mother? Yes, I know a little bit, but not enough to answer for her behaviour. Yes. My advice would be to get um, a dog trainer, mm -hmm. but a... You OK? Yes. If you um, were to, you know, get in touch with a, a dog trainer, mm -hmm. um, let the dog trainer know of the way she is mm. on her nervousness, he can develop a little programme mm. that can strengthen her up, all right. within a matter of weeks, right. where she's going to be more bolder. Yeah. Most definitely, the eye and the situation with the eye um, has made her feel mm -hmm. a little bit more insecure yes. because she's not seeing full volume. Yes. So it's, a, 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 you know, mm. I know, because she give, you know, gives mm. me that and the feeling. Mm. However, the trainer will know what to do right and i promise you, you're gonna see a more bolder yeah uh non well less nervous dog yes, she virtually jumps into our arms yeah. when a bigger well a dog any yeah. other dog comes I along i promise you if you try it yeah it will be successful okay. with this lovely one okay lovely. thank you very much and then you see a really bold okay lovely thank you she's lovely <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> ladies and gentlemen for lovely telly please I came along to the programme feeling open-minded, but probably mildly sceptical. I feel that there was something, please, not jagged, but something that was out in the foliage. Having listened to some of the readings uh, for individuals, I thought they were probably more uh, convincing because he seemed to pluck out very specific names, uh, and it was very impressive. Coming up, might a holiday couple enjoy mystical company? And they're not going to pull a prank on you both. But it seems as if they're going to follow you over. Nice. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bless you. OK. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like now to uh, try to um, encourage um, another spirit person, if not more than one, to step forward again into the atmosphere. I hope sincerely that Whoever's going to step forward uh, that will be received uh, quite quickly. Bless you, bless you. Right, bless. Thank you, Sam. The next person, please. Thank you. Do I go to? Direct. Thank you. This man. Hello, this is a gentleman and a lady. Mm -hmm. Could I please? It doesn't matter who takes the mic, if, if that's OK. Mm -hmm. Can you speak to me, please? Yeah. Yeah, sure, yeah. Hi. Thank you. Now, I was directed to you, which is usual or unusual, no one knows. But can I say to you, please, um, there's a person who's come here now and has shown me something rather than show themselves. So that's the reason why I've done what I've done. Yeah. See, this gentleman, please, sets out a stall and it's got all kinds of goods on it. 
And I feel that must have been what he was used to doing maybe in his life. You know, like a market stall? Was this a gentleman connected to you that's now in spirit that mm, did this? No, I don't remember. Don't remember you can't? No. That's a, the lady? Mm. I feel I'm talking about fruit now. Fruit, all the mixed veg. Yeah. It is you, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's me. Thank you. <laughs> right. Please, will you do me a favour? Yeah. Would you do me a real, real heartfelt favour? Would you join me on the sofa? Yeah. Please, I feel it's important. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me on the sofa. Could I ask you your name, please? Susan. Hi, Susan. Thank you. Right, Susan, as I say, I'm so glad that you've come uh, to sit on the sofa with me because even at this point, I've been unsure of why I was prompted to actually ask you to come to the sofa. However, whilst I'm talking to you, I'm being made aware of maybe four, five, six of spirit energies, meaning individuals that are grouping very close to me here. Although I can't see them very clearly, I'm aware of them, OK? Yeah. As a medium would be. Um, firstly, this gentleman, please, that um, was rather proud in selling a, a mixed array of veg and fruit. I know he's very close by. But I'm also getting with this man, please, whether she's connected to him, a lovely lady who uh, most definitely uh, would have uh, been quite a, a bonny looking lady, bless her. Very cheerful lady. A lady, please, who um, suffered, um, I feel, although that didn't pass, make her pass up, suffered round the hips and this area when she was on the earth. I also, and hopefully I'll get names in a minute, but I also feel pleased I'm taken also down to a dock area and the spirit man's showing me this area and I see the docks, I see the water. So his um, uh, feelings taken back as if he would have worked around those conditions. Yeah. In actual fact, there was two of those. There were two males. I feel they could have been either father and son or there were two brothers who are in the world of spirit that worked in those conditions. Mm. Can you understand any of this? It's my mum's side, but way back. Yes. Um, there's old... Who was old Daisy? It's my nan. She's here. <laughs> <laughs> wow, put her hand on me, she said, tell her Daisy's here. <laughs> tell her Daisy's here. Mm. She loves you to oh, bits. She died when I was one. Yeah, she loves you to bits, Susan. She's watched you from the world of spirit. And she said, you, she might as well be a little girl to me. I'll always watch over her. Tell her, oh, she walks around the world of spirit bragging about you, OK? All right, love? Yeah. Really? It's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Who was Joe? Joe. I think that was one of my aunt's old boyfriends. Yes, he's in spirit as well. He's just come here. <laughs> yeah. And I heard him saying, I wasn't a black sheep, but everyone said I was. Yeah, I know. Do you understand? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was a ladies' man. He was. Mm. Rather dapper in his clothes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Crombie man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's just said, OK. I never see him, but I've been described him. Been, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's still like that in the world of spirit. Oh. Hasn't changed one bit. Uh -huh. They can't wait to go where? All right. Should, should I tell Susan? OK. Can I say to you, please, talking here in the background, both you and your lovely partner, please, are planning to go um, over to that island, the foreign island, please, for a holiday. Is it Malta? No. Has there been... There's not been an offer of Malta? No. Somewhere you, further. Is it further? Sorry. <laughs> OK, you've made plans to go to... Yeah. ...abroad, haven't you? Yeah. I thought they were talking about Malta. OK, forgive that. Um, it seems that... ..they're aware of this, the whole group, and they're not going to pull a prank on you both. But it seems as if they're going to follow you over. Oh, nice. <laughs> the whole group. It won't cost them any money. <laughs> and they'll get there before you. OK, but yeah. um, I feel they're going for a purpose. Maybe they just want to go on because they know you're going. They'll follow you. Um, 
but I feel there's something that they're going to do that is going to extremely please you, especially Daisy's going to be right at the front of the queue. All right. So take your grand's love. No matter what age you get to, you're like a little girl to her. That's lovely. All right, love. She loves you totally. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please, a nice hand of applause for lovely Susan. Thank you. The person that came through to me was way back in my mum's family. Who was old Daisy? It's my nan. But you do feel sad when you get people come through, but it, it's a happy sad. You know, it's just so happy. And I can't wait to tell my children. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a real pleasure. You've been a fantastic, um, loving, participating audience. You know, I don't really know what to say to you. Other than thank you from the bottom of my heart. And from Sam's, have a very safe journey home. Good night and God bless. <laughs>